Hi, my name is Daniela Pando. My name is Andres Quiroz, and we work in the lab with Paul Kila in the Department of Pediatrics. Our lab mentor is Shad Sheikh. Our lab's main question is what causes inflammatory bowel disease and how inflammatory bowel disease can affect the patients. PD represents a group of intestinal disorders that cause chronic and incurable inflammation in the digestive tract. There are two main forms of IBD. Crohn's disease, which can attack any part of your gastrointestinal tract, and ulcerative colitis, which attacks your large intestine or colon. Colitis is an inflammation in the colon. In this picture, you can see on the left the inside surface of a healthy colon. On the right, the colon is red, inflamed, and obviously not healthy. IBD has characteristics of both inflammatory and autoimmune conditions. Autoimmune conditions arise when our immune system is overactive and starts attacking normal, healthy tissue. In the case of IBD, it is thought to react in an abnormal way against commensal or normal bacteria inhabiting our gut. The exact cause of an autoimmune disease such as IBD is unknown. There are evidence that suggests that this disease is due to a combination of factors such as genetic predisposition, environmental factors, and alterations of the immune system. In our lab, we've been working with an animal model of colitis a strain of genetically engineered RAG2 deficient mice that lack T and B lymphocytes that have been injected with naive T cells. These mice develop colitis within eight weeks after injection. Then we use the oozing chambers to look for differences in the epithelial barrier permeability as a result of tight junction alterations in the T cell injected mice and control mice. In this graph, you'll notice the mice that developed colitis in red have a higher intestinal permeability rate than the healthy mice. Increased permeability allows for bacteria and their products to cross the epithelial barrier and promote strong inflammatory responses. Inflammation also triggers changes in the gastrointestinal microbiome, leading to a state called dysbiosis. Gut microbiome dysbiosis can be a result of inflammation, but also together with impaired epithelial barrier can be a factor causing or contributing to inflammation. My final questions are, when the tight junction is disrupted, what other major diseases can occur? And why is the tide junction disrupted? My final questions are, what causes the disruption of the tight junction and can the disruption of the tight junction be a trigger or cause of IBD?